when i told sally that it was nice talking to you it was nice knowing you do you know what she said she was like F you 200 dollars is actually a lot to me yeah if it's something that i don't want to give up like it's something i'm not ready to give up and you just want to take it from me forcefully it's a lot of money <laughs> I don't really know how to start off this story time because this is literally my first story time in this channel. But anywho, we're going to do it. We're going to start anywho, guys. Welcome to my channel again. It's your baby girl Faith and here you know the vibe already. Today video is going to be a story time on how I hold my God's scammed on IG, I mean Instagram. It's like I said, this is my first story time in this my channel, and I'm also going to be applying my makeup on my face and here. I'm not like an expert on makeup, so anyhow, I do my makeup, just take it like that. And I'm also going to show you guys what I normally use for my makeup. I tell you guys the story on how I almost got scammed on IG. So yeah, <laughs> I normally get up from bed early in the morning, like when I'm in early in the morning, I mean. 4 a.m. in the morning. I don't know, but that is just my body system. I do get up from bed at that time because I don't even know why I do get up from bed at that time because I just feel like, okay, this is the normal time for me to be on my phone, scroll my IG, normal internet stuff, you get what I mean? So I was just scrolling on IG when I got a message from Unknown Sendal. Her name, okay, let's just call her Sally, although her name is Sally on IG. So i she messaged me on ig like a request sent then i went to my um on request sent message on ig so guys i'll be using the scrummed moisturizer for my face before applying my makeup on my face yeah so she messaged me she was like hey hi how you doing my name is sally and this is my hygiene account. I was like, in my mind, I was like, it is very, very obvious that this is your um, IG account because he just messaged me. But anywho, I didn't know that she was like coming up with something like a deal. Then she messaged me again after, I think this time around, it was like 6 a.m. Then she messaged me. She was like, hi, Faith, nice to meet you. Like, nice to chat with you. Something like that, that she has a deal with me. Then when I saw the deal just popped in my phone on my Instagram, I instantly opened the message. I was like, what deal is it? And she was like, she really loved my pictures on ID, on IG. She loved my pictures. She loved my Instagram um photo she loved everything about my hygiene that she really want to collaborate with me then instantly i was like oh wow somebody want to collaborate with me that is good that is good that's what i said to myself i didn't tell her that that is good on ig because on the norms people do collaborate with me on um tiktok and um youtube so i do get this mini like collaboration with them so i know how collaboration work with the client and me so yeah that is how i was like okay this is instagram and i'm so surprised because I don't get any offer from Instagram because I have just about 600 and something um, followers on Instagram. So I'm not expecting anything like um, collaboration stuff. On YouTube, I have 2,000 um, subscribers. So collaboration might come, it might not. But on TikTok, I have about 2,000 plus again. So I do get some collaboration, but not all the time. But Instagram, I don't even have 1,000 subscribers. You get what I mean? So at this point, I was confused. I was like, why did I want to collaborate? work with me like is this actually real on instagram because if, if somebody want to like um collaborate with you on instagram that means you'll be famous even if you're not famous at least you have like a one subscriber right so i was like thinking about myself doubting that uh why would she want to collaborate with like a 600 plus subscribe um followers on instagram at this point i was like let me just go with the flow that's what i said so guys this is my building um blender like my blender that i'm gonna use for my face i got this from sheen and very affordable here yeah. <laughs> so i was like oh you know what that is good that is good that's what i said so i was just following her like going with the flow or what she was saying then she messaged me again i was waiting for her like her messages after i said that okay what is the deal like then she sent me three of 
my photos yeah she sent me three of my photos and she was like i really really love this your photos uh can i use it for like an exhibition like uh, she want to paint this stuff and also use it for exhibition i was like because i, I was an artist and i have some like artwork on my what they calling it on my instagram page on the name my instagram page that was from 2022 2023 something like that so i was like okay um it's good it's okay you can use the picture you can use the video and insta she said that it's a paid collaboration that she's gonna give me my share that the deal is three thousand five hundred dollars and she's gonna give me the five hundred dollars i was like oh that's good in my mind i was like five hundred dollars that's a lot of money that's like a four hundred or something pound and four hundred or something um pounds and pants yeah i was like yeah that's a lot of money so i told her that what is the deal like then she told me that the deal is all uh, like she's gonna paint my stuff that she's gonna give me the copy like a copy in my mind i was like if you want to paint something you can't give somebody the copy and also because i'm an artist um you can't give me the copy except if you want to paint two work and give me one except if you want to photocopy it and when you photocopy something it's not a copy it's not a painting anymore it's called like a normal people work so yeah i was like okay okay that's fine you said that they're gonna be like uh, 500 dollars she said yeah 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 there's gonna be like a 500 dollars that's what she said they said she's gonna give me my share of 500 dollars she messaged me again she was like okay where are you from that she is from washington i was like oh that's good that i'm from the uk i live in the uk something like that but that we just talking and she um said that um yeah that she really want to work with me that that she choose from three of my pictures she went on my instagram page she took like three of my pictures and she was like okay she want to collaborate with me and i should pick the picture she wants to paint then when she said that i should pick my pictures that the picture she want to work with i was like are you not the one that's supposed to pick a picture yourself why do you want me to pick my picture that's what i was thinking i was like i need you it's a collaboration the people are always right this and that that are this so anywho she finally picked the picture that i picked the picture i was like okay this one is okay if you really like it it is fine then she was like okay in the evening she's gonna get back to me like this and that at that point i was at work already i wasn't paying attention like i wasn't giving her that full attention intensive replying of message this and that because i was busy at work it was stressful this and that i wasn't really giving her that attention she you know that attention i got home then i it was i think eight something when i got home then i was like okay let me reply to her message so guys i don't know why i find it so wet to get like her pencil for my eyebrow but anyway i feel like i'm just so lazy to go to do that i have a lot of short pencil to just get new one so <sighs> <Okay>. <laughs> so guys um she uh messaged me in the evening when i got home i was like yeah it's high time for me to reply to her in here we're talking about money but still it's instagram we're talking about it's not tiktok nor youtube you get what i mean so because it's not tiktok on or youtube i wasn't feeling that consigned or bothered you get what i mean so i was like okay anywho let's just go with the vibe so i just i messaged my sister at that time i told her that there's this collaboration she's gonna give me 500 dollars my sister was like oh that's good but is it real that's what she told me then i was like i'm not sure if it's real she was like in that case that is good then go for it then i messaged the lady that oh that um so what is gonna happen is that she said that um the lady that sally she messaged again she was like okay she's ready to um deposit the money to my account yeah because it trades on my hybrid before i do something silly <laughs> give me a sec guys <laughs> normally guys i do concentrate on my hybrid first before applying foundation on my face but i don't know what was wrong with me so <laughs> i had to apply my foundation before concentrating on my hybrid so yeah <laughs> that was how she messaged me that she has a problem with my account you know she was like, she don't really trust UK account, this and that, that she's scared, the security is very tight, this and that. To me, I was wondering, if you want to send money, it's just 500, it's not like you're sending 1,000, 2,000 pounds to me, or 2,000 dollars to me, something like that, since you're working um, with dollar and other pounds. So you just have to send, then she was like, <clears throat> that I didn't I didn't reply her, then she messaged me again, um, do I have a paper account? Then I said, yes, I have a paper account. Do you want to send it through paper? She was like, she's more safe with paper. 
paper her account that she don't really trust the uk bank and mama was like what person doesn't trust uk bank at least it's a bank of course if you have any problem it's just easy for us to go to the bank and anywho remember i am still going with the flow i'm still going with the flow so <laughs> nothing is that like i'm not really bothered about anything i'm not really bothered about that you get what i mean so yeah and uh she said that if i have a paper account i told her like yeah sally i have a paper account do you want to send it or deposit it through my paper account she was like oh that's lovely yeah that is good that i should send out my um email she told me to send out my email paper email then i did send her then after about five minutes i got a um, message from paper saying that i'm gonna link everything here so you can also read it okay so i got a paper saying this that is here that um uh faith this and that um sally tried to send you 500 dollars but the money didn't go through because your account is not expanded you're not um on a business um like you're not on a business account you're on a personal account that is what this stuff is talking about here then i i was like okay no problem then the message me same message here they were like um you need to what you need to do here is to at this point it, it was like i think 12 something midnight does paper customer service like work midnight i don't get that i was contemplating to myself though but i'm not really sure do you get what I mean? the paper customer service messaged me they were like um faith um i think you need to message the sender to deposit two hundred dollars to your account, making seven hundred dollars, so that um your account will be expanded, so it will show on your paper account. Because she said that she sent money, and now paper is telling me that my money has been suspended, that it hasn't gone through my account. This and that, that, and that. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> so in my mind, I was like, okay, let me just go with the flow to you. I messaged Sally. At that point, Sally also messaged, Sally dropped me a message, which I'm not really sure of that she dropped me a message. And when I wanted to send a message, I realized that she sent me a message, exactly the same message paper sent to me. She was like, maybe they sent it to her there, but I don't really know, I wasn't sure. But it was the same message paper sent to me that she screenshot and said to me that the paper didn't send it to me, that paper said that my account has been suspended, that the money has been suspended, that they didn't have actually put into my paper account this and that that i should contact the sender for the sender to send me 200 dollars so they can put on my account at this point guys i was doubting i was doubting you know i told my sister about it. she was like probably it's real because a lot of people can get like on uh, deals like collaboration deals on instagram but on my case because i don't have 1000 stuff like that i keep doubting myself i was like you know what this is a scam like this is a big scam but still it doesn't show like it's a scam on sally's face that is the collaboration dealer then i was like okay you know what let me just go with the flow as usual i was like okay no no problem then she was like um if she can trust me yeah she was like faith can you can, can i trust you i was like trust me what it says that she want to send the 200 dollars so that um so that i can get the 700 stuff so i can refund the money back to her i was like yeah 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 sure if you want to send the 200 you, you have my paper here me you can send it to me so after the money has gone through to my account, then I, I will be able, like, I'll be able to send the money back to you, right? So she was like, okay, no problem. She trusts me. Then after like five minutes again, I got a message from paper again saying that, um, saying that Faith, um, um, Sally just deposited $200 to your account and now your account has been unsuspended but still i don't have that money on my paper account i still can't find that money i still can't locate that money on my paper account what is going on like i was like what is going on at this time it was i think 12 40 something it's almost 1 midnight like it's almost 1 a.m um yeah so customer service is still operating i was like what these people are still operating i did not sleep hey what is going on that's what i said to myself though then the message me so guys that's the concealer i normally use i have different type of concealer i have different shade but i do use this on on the regular basis but i think now i just want to use this hide and chic concealer but i feel like because it is lighter than this one this one is so dark but i need something that is going to be light because i want to use my powder is going to be light i don't want to use the 
Dakar shade of my power powder so yeah at this point guys i knew already that this is a big time scam like this is an open scam but anywho i was still going with the flow i was still still going with the flow i was like okay you never know what's gonna happen okay but i wasn't contemplating to myself that it's not a scam i wasn't doing that anymore i knew that this was a scam okay so <laughs> with that for that ordeal guys um she sent the money like i said and they were like um telling me this and that that the money has been on suspended but what that that is paper customer service i'm also gonna put everything here so you can see them right paper customer service told me that i should i should send um the 200 dollars to the account that's to sally's account i was like i haven't still received this two, um 700 support money that you guys said that is what i took um paper customer service i think i'm gonna put that here so i took um paper customer service that i haven't received the 700 dollars that you and sally sent to my paper account so and you expect me to send back the money because you guys said once i've received it i should send back the money i should send back the money to um sally's account that is 200 um dollar the one that she used in the spam that my store because it's not a business account i was using a personal account to me yeah before that i was like you know what this business account this personal account i do get a lot of collaboration deals from different people on youtube and on tiktok so i do use my personal accounts i never want to use a business account but i do use a personal account like a personal paper account so what are they talking about i don't to me yeah now i begin to feel that the paper customer service is sally and sally is the paper customer service she is just trying to manipulate things you get what i mean she's just trying to claim that she she doesn't know the customer service she's just the sender this and that this. she was just trying to play a fool out of me you get what i mean but anywho <laughs> i didn't really take that i know that that is a game that they're all trying to play because customer service will never reply asap right customer service will never reply you asap they're gonna take like some time but this one is just like a normal convo between me and my chill me and my nigger something like that but mind you i was communicating with the customer service not um with um what they're calling customer not with my nigger this is a customer service at this point guys sally has already been disturbing me faith have you sent the money have you sent me, me the 200 dollars i haven't seen it here this and that i was like hey sally chill you like i haven't even seen the 700 dollars that you guys are you and paper customer service said that you've deposited to my account you guys are telling me to send the money back to you how am i going to send the money back to you if the money hasn't de been deposited to my account you get what i mean so sally was like um you need to send it through your account like through your personal bank account that's your personal uk bank account you need to send it to sally's paper sally sent me a paper to send the 200 dollars to her account i was like wow this is amazing then i messaged customer service sally customer service again i was like how am i gonna send the money to sally's account when the money hasn't been deposited to my account right customer service said i should use my normal uk bank account to send the money to sally the same way sally told me <laughs> the same way sally told me to send my personal bank account to her that is the same way customer service paper customer service told me to send the money to sally you get what i mean so these things i am not convinced like fully convinced that this is sally to sally not customer service to sally you get what i mean you get all the scenario right so right now sally is so dumb to like she can't even like change the way the customer service say it to me to the way she is going to put it to me you get what i mean so at this point i was Still, like I was badly convinced that it is Sally to Sally, not customer service to Sally. So Sally was like, <laughs> Sally was like, Faith, have you sent the money? I haven't received the money. This and that, that I did. <laughs> i love this time around i was around playing the game not sally anymore right it makes sense now so guys this is the blush i normally use but today i'm gonna use this blush because i prefer red more than the pink one red is like going to be like oh sh hash it's going to be shiny and pink one is gonna be dull so let me just go for the red blush instead of the pink blush good sally kept um disturbing me that faith when you're gonna send the money i was like i can't send the money through my personal account she was like why not but you promised me that you're going to send the money when i send it back to you i was like that is 
when i get the money from my paper account and paper customer service told me that within 24 hours that if the money hasn't been deposited to Sally's account, they're gonna like take the all the seven hundred dollars to Sally's account. Then I was like, um, I told customer service that that's fine. You can send it back to the sender, the so-called sender, and I didn't get any reply from customer service. <laughs> at this point i told sally that within 24 hours they can send you back the money if anything has been made if i haven't sent back the 200 dollars that to 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 your account that they're going to send back all the 700 dollars to you your account back then she was like um this is a great deal why do you want to cut it down it's a 500 dollars deal why do you want to cut it down i was like sorry you guys didn't send me any money and you can't expect me you were the one that said that you don't trust UK bank account. I told Sally that you said that you don't trust UK bank account. And now, why do you want me to send from my own personal UK bank account to your PayPal account? That is what I told Sally. <laughs> so Sally did re re reply. It's like she, she was thinking on what to say. It took her five minutes. She didn't reply. 10 minutes, she didn't reply. 15 minutes, she didn't reply. At this time, it was, I think, two something. That is the normal time I do go to bed. At this time, I was feeling so, so dizzy. Like when I mean dizzy, it was that bad. I was feeling so dizzy. Then I didn't even know when I told Sally that, you know what, tomorrow, I'm going to send you the money to your account. Then it's like Sally was happy that who she's going to send the money to my account, this and that, that she has catch a big fish. I think that 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 was what Sally would be thinking that she has um catch big fish because I told her that I'm gonna send the money to her account. I don't know. <laughs> I was feeling dizzy. That was the reason why I said something like that. It's not like I really meant it, right? So Sally was happy. Then I go back. She was like, Thank you. Thank you. Just let me know when you send the money to my PayPal account. Already, she sent her details, her PayPal details, everything that I needed. She sent it already, hoping that I'm going to send the money to our PayPal account tomorrow. That's $200. So that I will receive the seven hundred. That 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 that's an initial plan, right? So, um, it was the next morning. Sally messaged me. I think it was six a.m. Very early in the morning. Sally messaged me. Who does that? What type of collaboration does that? Like message or like um, I don't even know how to classify myself. Message me at that time that have you sent the money have you sent the money i haven't received it yet then i messaged sally i was like sally i thought i told you that the money is going to be sent back to your account again because i am not interested in this deal in this collaboration then she was like i thought you said you're going to send it in the morning i told her oh sorry i was feeling dizzy that was the reason why i said so but yeah paypal would have sent the money to your account because i am no longer interested in your so-called deal do you know what sally did hmm so guys i really love to use my white setting powder before i go with the normal dark color because this is my normal usual color and i have a few of them here so i'm just gonna go with my normal white setting powder to put them on my normal side highs right so yeah <laughs> the kind of look that sally gave me guys i wasn't expecting it sally gave me this emoji i'm gonna pop the emoji here this kind of emoji that is given the side oh, yeah that's the kind of emoji then sally was like in a match you'll be like oh my god game over that's what she's gonna say so she didn't reply me after that emoji then i was like it was nice talking to you though i don't want to take to her face that sally you're a big kind scammer this and that's gonna be a childish right because i knew already that she is a scammer at this point i told my friend and she was like faith you need to block her i don't really like blocking people instantly right i don't like to block people immediately i love to have fun like have fun it was one my friend told me that um she might hack your account this and that um she's dangerous this and that i was like uh okay i'm gonna block her i'm gonna block her this and that um still i haven't blocked her yet because i was enjoying the phone because i knew fully well that she is a scammer but i was just going with the flow you get what i mean so i was just going with the flow already i know that she is a scammer <laughs> i really need to hold out a new mac um studio mac powder because i'm running out of this one you can see it's almost gone so yeah <laughs> i don't know why i'm just laughing but i love to <laughs> i love to smile i love to laugh i feel like it's yeah it's worth it right when i told sally that it was nice talking to you it was nice knowing you do you know what she was like do you know what she said she was like F you. that is what she said sally literally said that i was like what 
<laughs> to me i was like what i didn't reply that i was just like what i was laughing at this moment i was like did she really say that to me she really she really did she really did say you oh my gosh i was so shocked at the same time i was so happy that i didn't fall for this salon of a woman or this salon of me i was so happy guys i was one of the most happiest person they wanted to use 700 dollars to scam me 200 dollars can you imagine be careful guys you guys dealing with a lot of collaboration not all of them are collaborators all of them just want to scam you so you guys just need to be careful like you all really need to be careful if not um, a lot of people are going to steal your money imagine she's saying that she doesn't like uk bank account that is one of the first big red flag she doesn't like a uk bank account and you want me to send you uh my own 200 dollars or 200 pound from my bank account to your paper account and you say you don't trust if you don't trust, why don't you just send it from your home normal bank account to my paper account instead of using paper or this and that why are you using paper to paper when you know that you don't really trust paper account so guys you just have to be careful you see the sally girl immediately she said that i blocked her immediately that's why i have a lot of her receipts here because i had this screenshot i want i only screenshot the paper because it's on my himi right <laughs> so here yeah, if i didn't block her i will have a lot of receipts to show you guys so i blocked her immediately i deleted her account immediately that is what i did i was so happy i was so so happy when i did that because she might do something i'm free to my account you never know so i had to just get rid of her immediately when i told my friend my friend told me that yeah she knew that he knew that he told me that yeah he knew that um the sally woman is a scam i told her that i i told him that yeah i knew that she or he is a scammer because i don't know if she is actually a woman or is she actually a man i don't know if she is white or if she's black because on the profile picture there she is white people can actually add people's account to get what they want right so yeah and um, even her instagram account she literally has 123 followers and i have 600 or something followers can you imagine i was like you know what thank god for my life because oh my gosh if not she would have just calmed me a lot like 200 dollars is actually a lot to me yeah if it's something that i don't want to give up like if it's something i'm not ready to give up and you just want to take it from me forcefully it's a lot of money i'm not gonna lie it's a lot and a lot of money so guys this is my favorite supposed style lip gloss i really love this it's actually a birthday gift from my friend to me now i really love to use this lip gloss because i don't know i just made my mouth look so smooth and i love it i so much love it it's not too much it literally just made my mouth look so smooth i love it you can tell the difference i just like to put a lot of this because it's actually not like um not heavy it's just so light and not too sticky if i put it underneath it's not going to affect the one on top you can see so that is just how it works so i so much love it anywho guys we told the stories everything everything like you just have to be careful like i said before you just have to be careful you just have to make your research she has just 123 followers and i have 600 or some people followers. and can you imagine that that she tried to scam me oh my god that this lady has this lady has mind to scam me but anywho thank god she didn't because i caught her i got a red flag on time so i was able to manipulate everything she went, mm. so i was able to manipulate everything and she failed she failed probably she's gonna meet the next client the next customer it's not that i do post a lot of content on instagram all the time i post once in a while i'm the wrong person for you to collaborate i'm not selfish to be like i have little subscribers you can actually collaborate with me no i'm not that lazy type of person i'm not a lazy type of person you get what i mean that is how i found myself almost being scammed by some sort of lady living in washington i don't even know if she really lives in washington or if she just framed it because everything she literally did was framed from the very first time paper customer service started talking to me like immediately or i don't know let me concentrate on doing this because when you do this wrong oh my gosh it's gonna ruin the entire makeup so give me a second guys so when the customer service stopped talking to me i was like you know what i am done i am absolutely done with everything this lady and she told me 
off like i know that a lot of you are influencers and you guys are willing to do anything to collaborate with people because they're gonna give like a commission something like that but you guys need to make a thorough research okay thorough research about the person you're going to collaborate with because a lot of people are gonna like steal money from you they're not gonna take it they're not gonna take it directly from you finally guys on my makeup tip i'm gonna be using the mist tape and here is just for the finishing phew i feel good now they're not gonna take it directly from you they're gonna take it indirectly but you just have to be careful if you want to send money to them make sure that you know they're in the if you have any red flag make sure you think about a red flag before doing anything with them okay and yeah guys this is the end of the story thank god to me i wasn't being scammed on the last minute they were like asking for money from me like immediately so guys thank god i blocked her i blocked everything about her i deleted her account i reported her account on instagram and um, yeah you have to be careful you just have to be careful that's what i can say and i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video because this is actually my first story time here on youtube and i hope you guys really love it if you don't really love it or if you don't love it at all just let me know in the comment section okay so i'll know when to improve myself you know there's first time for everything but anywho guys thank you so much for sticking from the very beginning to this perfect ending and i'm gonna see you all in my next video love you all bye cheers